This is Alex Harris for ESBL Boxing. Pleasure to be joined by Giorgio Vizioli today. First of all, mate, how are we feeling? Very good, uh, very excited. Uh, first time as a pro in London. Very excited to uh, fight in the Copper Box. Sold some tickets. Uh, my friends, family going to come all along, fans, and I'm very excited to put a performance on. And when you speak about fans, you know, a lot of the time when you're starting off as a prospect, you don't really have too many fans, but they come with time. Do you feel like they are starting to form now? I think so. Um, I wouldn't say the people that bought tickets are fans. Well, they probably are. Um, but I think after this fight, mate, if you keep doing performances like I've been doing, the fans will come along and um, you sell more tickets. And I don't have to sell tickets, but it'll be nice to sell. It's good to sell a lot. Um, but yeah, no. Uh, Fans are starting to come along, I think. Most definitely. And the Copper Box is a very historic venue. And I suppose to be able to fight in London with amongst other historic venues like York Hall as well. Do you feel like there's big opportunities in London for you? Definitely. Um, one day I hope to uh, headline somewhere in London. Um, a dream of mine will probably be Wembley Stadium, 100%. Or the O2. The O2 is a big one for me. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of opportunities. Keep, I keep doing, going the way I'm going, working hard. Um, don't take these wings for granted. These KOs. Don't think you're some superstar. Let's say level grounded, and and big fights will happen for me soon. Not soon, but in the future. Is it difficult to keep level-headed after you know you're getting these big knockouts and these big wins? Um, not really. I, I've I got these knockouts, and I still think I'm. Georgia, yeah, I don't think I'm no one else, you know, uh, and that's what that's what a lot of fighters out there, a lot of prospects out there now, they're acting they're acting like they're someone it, someone different to what I've seen them in the amateurs, and they were acting, they didn't act like they were doing now, now they're acting like they're professional footballers, you know, I, me, I'm I think I'm the, the true, I'm, I'm the most humble person uh, going, so uh, I'm not going to change for some knockouts, you know what I mean? So I'm always going to be the same. You know, of course it's important to have self-confidence, but is there a thing of overconfidence? 100%. You can be overconfident and it can be a bad thing because you go in that fight, you think you're going to go do this guy over, you can get clipped, you know. Um, but no, you've got to have a bit of confidence going in there. You've got to say, I'm going to beat this guy, you know what I mean? Um, but yeah, no, you can never ha you've got to have a bit of confidence uh, going into fights. And as a prospect who, you know, if you're on a big stage here, if you lose, there probably is quite a bit to lose, but... Do you feel like you also still have to go out there and make fights entertaining and not just try and tip tap around and protect the O and things like that? Definitely. Um, it's always in the back of the head. You've always got to, you've got to think about yourself first, so you've got to get this win, but you've got to do it in style. Obviously, first three rounds you see the opponent out. If you think you're you think you're you could get this guy out of there, you can get this guy out. But um, no, you've got to um, you've got to be careful in there. Um, what was the question again, sorry? So I suppose is it making sure that you you are keeping fights entertaining and you aren't just kind of trying to protect your own too much? Yeah, definitely. You got you got to entertain as well. It's it's the entertainment business. You don't entertain, I know you're not going to get that much interest, you know. Uh, so you got to put it on a bit of a show. Um, but yeah, those these fights I've had, I'm not going in there to impress the crowd. It's just happened naturally. So that's what I keep doing and. Um, yeah, that's what I keep doing. Do you feel like there is that natural power there for you? I think so. I keep saying I've never knocked anyone in the amateurs, but they've all, there's always been natural power there for me. I know I didn't show it in the amateurs, but there's always been natural power. It's hard to show in the amateurs. You always, you've got no, those padded gloves. You can't, you know what I mean? Um, you're always bouncing in the pros. Yeah, I'm showing, I'm, I'm settling down and I'm showing I've got power now. Would you say you do much prefer the pro game in general to the amateur game? Definitely, much prefer it. Um, getting paid, didn't you? <laughs> uh, you're getting paid to what I'm getting paid to do. It's not all about money, but you're getting paid to do what you love, and um, it's a blessing, you know. And the amateurs, it's a hard game. It's a hard. It's a hard. So's the pro game. But amateurs, it's like if you don't get an amateur title, it's hard to get a deal like this, you know. So, um, but I much prefer the pros. Of course, and to look back upon, you know, when signing with Matchroom, how did that process all kind of come about? When did you hear about that? Um, I was um, meeting a few managers, um, met Sonny Edwards, obviously a big role model, a big part of my team, Sonny. Um, we got in contact, started speaking, I got in contact with his manager, and we went from there. Um, Obviously, I had a bit of help from people who actually work for Matchroom. 
by Alex. Uh, I can't, <laughs> I can't say his surname. <laughs> he knows that I can't say his surname. And Tom Dallas, the matchmaker, they really wanted to sign me. So I, I, uh, I was blessed that people at Matchroom wanted to sign me and had their, had their eye on me. So um, yeah, got got a deal, um, got a very good deal, and um, I'm blessed. I'm blessed, really blessed to have a good deal from Matchroom because it's hard to, do you know what I mean? It's not everyone gets a deal from Matchroom because uh, it's best com best promotion company in the world. So I'm, I'm truly uh, grateful. And you touched upon Sully Edwards. I just wanted to get your thoughts on his fight. You know, ended in a, a bad cut, but a good win for him. What did you make of it? Yeah, I thought he boxed very, very well. Didn't get hit. Um, looked like a little, little Floyd Mayweather in there, you know. I'm um, glad that he got a cut because I feel like he could have stepped. He told me he was going to step it up, and I think he, I think he would have done. Um, and it's a shame people were booing him out of the crowd. I think it's terrible, but it's part of the game. You know what I mean? You're not. Some people are not going to like you. Some people are. So. Um, but no, I thought Sonny boxed really well and he's back on, I know he doesn't feel like it's a win to him, but um, he's back on winning ways though. And when you are, you know, against a, a come forward fighter, like a tough Mexican come forward fighter, how nice is it to see somebody be able to keep to a game plan so well and just kind of stick a move and not really try and go to war for it? Shows him. how good Sonny, Sonny Edwards is, you know, um, shows how natural, naturally good boxer he is, you know, uh, not many people fold under the fold fold when a big Mexican is on top of you, you know, uh, the power, they can't deal with the power, but Sonny, another level, that's all I'm going to say, another level Sonny is, Sonny's very good. Giorgio, one final question, I really appreciate your time, can you give a, a little bit of a prediction for Saturday night for me? Um, just, I know it's boring, but we get the W, you've seen from previous, I don't say too much, but you'll see a good performance always on Saturday night, um, I've trained hard, you know what I mean, um, I eat. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm just ready, you know? I'm just ready. I can't wait to box in front of my fans. Not fans, I keep saying fans, but people that bought tickets, you know? Uh, but yeah, it'll uh, be a very good class performance as always. Georgia, I can see the excitement. I appreciate your time. Thank you very much. Man, cheers, appreciate it. Appreciate it. Cheers, man. Thank, Thank you. you.